What's up guys, Shane Stars with Droid and Modder X, and today we're going to take a quick look at the latest update from Google, Android 5.1. Now, so far it's been released to Nexus devices, so if you're running a Nexus 5, Nexus 6, Nexus 10, 9, or 7, you should be able to go ahead and flash the stock image. So what we're going to talk about is some of the changes in 5.1. This is not really a major overhaul, but some features have been added. This is kind of, in my opinion, what Lollipop should have been when it was first released. This is kind of more of a polished version of Android Lollipop. One feature that we'll talk about before we dive into this review is the feature which allows for dual SIM. So if you have, say, a work phone and a personal phone, you're actually able to use two SIMs at once. And Google actually built in the functionality to where you can choose which SIM that you're actually calling out on uh, so that you don't have to carry around two phones all the time. I do this at work. I carry around an iPhone for work and I carry around my Nexus 6 uh, for my personal use, but I have to carry those two phones all day. It'd be nice to be able to just to carry one phone. And then another feature that has been rolled out with 5.1 is the inclusion of voice over LTE. Now this allows us to use high definition calling. If you're on Verizon like me, there's a certain way to set it up. I'll be sure to include a link in the description of how to set that up, but basically you'll need to activate it on your Verizon account online. And then you'll need to go into the secret settings menu. But like I said, I'll be sure to include a link in the description of how to get that activated on your device after the 5.1 update. The rest of these are really some polishing features and some under the hood features, so let's go ahead and jump right into this review. All right guys, so the first thing that we'll do here is we'll jump into the settings, and we'll head to about phone. We'll look at the Android version number. You guys can see that we're now running Android version 5.1. This is build number LMY47D. If we click on the 5.1, you guys can see the lollipop Easter egg. It's the same as it's always been, nothing's really changed here. We've already covered one of the main features, the voice over LTE support and dual SIM support features. Uh, but another huge feature here is the addition of device protection. So if we take a look in our security settings, we'll go into settings and security. You have this option here, set up SIM card lock. So this will lock down your device to where it cannot be used without a pin. So if you turn that on, to give you the option to change your pin. If someone were to steal your phone, they would not be able to use your phone. LTE would not work and neither would the telephone service work uh, without your pin. Another thing that's added in this device protection is the fact that you have to have your pin in order to factory reset the device. Meaning, if you have a pin on your lock screen, they won't be able to boot into bootloader mode and then factory reset the device to wipe the data and make it a new device for them. And they'll actually need that pin in order to do that. And that particular feature, device protection, is only available on the Nexus 6, the Nexus 9, and any other Nexus device that is released with Android 5.1 or better. So it's not gonna be available for like the Nexus 7 or 10, or even the Nexus 5. Going forward, that feature will be included. So the thing that we'll look at here is priority notifications. If you, Click on the volume, you'll notice this setting here, this priority setting. Uh, the way that you would set that up is by going into settings and you would go into your sound and notifications. Scroll down to app notifications and you can actually choose which applications you would like to have priority uh, access. So if I wanted to hear all of my Facebook notifications even when my device was muted or, or the vibration was turned off, I could actually set this as a priority. Uh, or I could block it all together so that I didn't receive any notifications from that app. But if I went on ahead and set that as priority and then I set the priority in my volume control here, I can tell it how many hours I want that notification to go to the top. So any Facebook notification that came in would be at the very top of my notifications and they would come through even if the device was selected on silent. Another cool feature here is just the way that uh, Android 5.1 handles Wi-Fi connections. So we've all been there, you go to a friend's house and you just try to automatically connect to an open network and it turns out that network really stinks and you're not able to do anything with it. Android 5.1 will remember in the future that that was a bad connection and it will not automatically connect. So whereas before, if you entered into that room and that credit connection was available with no password protection, Android would automatically connect. In the future, uh, if it sees that that connection is bad, it will no longer try to automatically connect to that connection. So another cool feature in Android 5.1 is the new way that Android notifications or heads up notifications are handled. So used to if you received a notification you would have to swipe that away to totally dismiss it and it would disappear from your notifications list. 
uh, or you could open it up and deal with it right now. So either you'd have to dismiss it completely or uh, actually respond in the moment. So the thing that's different here is now if a notification comes in, you can simply swipe up and it won't make the notification disappear, but you're able to dismiss it for the time being. That way you can return to it later, which is really a much cleaner way of handling the notifications. To show you guys what I'm talking about, uh, I'll go ahead and send myself a message. Okay, so you can see the heads up notification here. If I simply swipe it up, it's still there. It still exists in my notification panel, but I don't have to deal with it right now in the moment. So if we swipe down, you guys can see the notification is still there, but I'm able to dismiss the heads up uh, portion of that notification. Of course, now uh, that I'm able to find time to deal with it, I can either swipe it away or open it. Um, you can still swipe away or open the notification when it comes through as a heads up notification it's just now you have the opportunity to swipe it up to dismiss it so that you can return to it later so new animations have been added to 5.1 which really polished the overall look and feel of lollipop uh, so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and swipe down our notifications we'll use two fingers to bring down our settings uh, you guys can see there's a little drop down menu now available for wi-fi which will actually open up uh, wi-fi networks there so i can actually go ahead and connect to whatever I need right from that little menu. No longer do I have to go completely away from my pull down toggles and into the settings menu. I can actually do that there. And then I can also do that with my Bluetooth as well. So you guys, you guys can see that also the animation there is just a little more fluid, a little more polished. There's another animation included also for auto rotate. So you guys can see uh, the new animation there. Everything just seems to be a little more polished. There's even updates and animations for like the YouTube application and uh, the calendar application and email application that just give everything a more polished look. Okay, so from the lock screen, if we pull down our toggles and if we swipe up from the bottom here where there's empty space, it'll actually go ahead and unlock the device. That way we don't have to uh, scroll up and then unlock the device separately. It's just one fluid action like so. So that really polishes up the lock screen and makes that function a little better. And then the other feature here is, that is especially for the Nexus 6 is just a speed and performance enhancement. Whereas the Nexus 6 did not necessarily always utilize all four cores of the CPU, it now utilizes all four cores at all times. So you will notice this as just a snappier, speedier experience. If you scroll through the home screen, and if you open applications, it just seems like everything functions a whole lot smoother with less hangups. You guys can see opening up the app drawer just how quickly that takes place. Uh, pulling down the notifications panel just how quickly that takes place and dismissing it. Everything is almost instant and it's just smoother than it's really ever been. All in all, this update has been excellent. Uh, it's definitely a step up from just standard lollipop uh, that we received when it first came out. And the only downside here that I could possibly see the very first day that I installed 5.1, I had some pretty bad battery life, but over the next several days, my battery life steadily improved. So as things began to settle in, battery life got better. I'm back to where I was before the update as far as battery life is concerned. I seem to be getting a full day's use out of my battery once more. So anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for the review of Android 5.1. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.